It's me, Mario! Let's go! What's up everyone, welcome back to FG Tech Tips. In today's video, we're gonna focus on how to update firmware of your Samyang lens. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please support me in subscribing to the channel. You will find the convenient link uh, below in the video description. Or you can also click on my nice little face below and hit the bell for being notified for new videos and additional content. So first of all, how do we update uh, the lens firmware and uh, why should we do that? There are three main ways on how we can usually update the lens. Uh, the first one is obviously the first obvious one, so directly through your camera. We will be focusing on uh, Sony lens. As I am a Sony user, so for Sony lens you can directly download the firmware of the lens directly from uh, the Sony website and flash it uh, to your camera and this is obviously the most common procedure another way is to connect the lens directly to the computer via the USB cable and flash it that's applicable for example to a uh, build pro lens uh, like uh, this one and uh, the third and final way is what we are gonna look in a moment and uh, that's uh, uh, basically the usage of an additional device usually called lens station that allows you to mount your lens on it and connect it to your computer via USB cable and flash it uh, to your computer. Today we are gonna look uh, at uh, this uh, uh, lens station from uh, Semyon. So this uh, uh, is uh, specifically made for uh, autofocus lenses for E-mount, but you can find a similar device uh, also on other brands like Sigma, for example, or others. Uh, this station is, as mentioned, only works for uh, E-mount, so for Sony lens, uh, but uh, obviously Samyang also does a version for Canon or Nikon users. So before purchasing that, please check careful uh, the proper lens station model. This uh, product anyway doesn't come for cheap. Uh, it's uh, available on Amazon for around uh, 60 dollars, um, which uh, in my honest opinion, uh, it's uh, a little bit too much because it's uh, quite um, cheap material and uh, doesn't do anything partic particular after all. So apart from connecting the lens, uh, to your computer so it's probably a better idea if you can uh, to rent it or maybe ask someone to lend it uh, to you since usually lens firmware are not released so often so maybe once a year or longer now uh, to the other question so why should we update uh, the firmware of our lens as usual like uh, for any other firmware like on uh, tvs on smartphones on computers uh, biases uh, um, these are all these updates are all supposed to either solve some bugs uh, or apart from solving bugs also introduce new functionalities so uh, it's almost always a good idea to flash the latest possible firmware especially if there are some uh, problems of any kind on your device in case of uh, lens this is a case especially when uh, you get a newly introduced product which suffer of early not optim optimized firmware so there might be uh, multiple revisions of firmware out since uh, the time you purchase the specific lens and it's usually worth to proceed with uh, this update main changes uh, you might have are reduction of distortions for example or increased efficiency of tracking and autofocus but in some cases you might also have new functionalities added to the lens like for example additional uh, focal stop so let's now dig into the details and let's start with an unboxing after it i will be showing you uh, how this uh, how to perform this firmware update
All right, let's see what we have in the box. That's a pretty standard box. An instruction manual with quality certificate. Land station and probably USB cable. Yeah, here it is. All right. That's where we need to place our lens. And here we have the USB in. So we're gonna try to update now this uh, Samyang lens. AF35 2.8 uh, for Sony. So I will try now to update this lens uh, using this lens station. First thing to do is to remove the lens cap. And then it should be placed on top of this, just like a normal lens. Here it is. All right. Now we just need to plug the cable, install the software and the firmware, and uh, flash it. You can check, by the way, the review of this lens uh, here. Now I will update the firmware and uh, we will later check also what has improved, maybe in another video. So now just follow me on the computer. All right, first thing to do now is to download the software. We are on the Samyang official homepage. If we go in software, we have Lens Manager. So let's download that. And we also need to download the firmware. In this case, we are talking about 35 millimeter lens 2.8. There it is. Last update, end of last year. All right, we just now proceed in installing the lens manager. It's done. Now I connected, as you can see, the lens station. It has correctly recognized the, the Samyang lens, 35 millimeters. Current firmware version is uh, .03. So we can now load the lens firmware file. The new version is uh, 05. All right, and now the flashing process has started. At the end of the process, uh, we should go from uh, firmware version 03 to 05. Okay, now let's reconnect the lens and see if the firmware has been updated. Yep, as we can see here, we have version 05, which is the latest available for this lens. And we are done. So, as we saw, the procedure was pretty easy and straightforward, really anybody can do that. I will soon test the lens I just updated and will probably post a video on my impressions and differences with the previous firmware revision. Anyway, uh, all the enhancements in my case should be focused on AF performance only. We are at the end of this video for now, so that's all I have for you guys today. Please support me as usual by liking this video and subscribing to the channel below. Also, please uh, uh, look at my filmmaking and photography related uh, playlist, so you will find all related videos there. You might find some interesting content and as usual, I will see you in the next one. Thank you!